for this moment. You are set for the manifestation of your awesome power in my life in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank God. Thank Him for the moment. You are set for the manifestation of His awesome power. Begin to appreciate Him. Father, we thank you for this great moment, O oh Lord. You have set aside for the manifestation of your awesome power. We say glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's say, Father, please have mercy and forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. And make my prayer acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, please have mercy and forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Every sin that could hinder the hands of my prayer this morning, let the blood of Jesus make me whole. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's say, Father, arise on my behalf and permanently send some silence. Every satanic boasters and oppressors in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arise on my behalf and permanently silence every satanic boasters and oppressors in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, please arise on my behalf and permanently silence every satanic boasters and oppressors in my life and family. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, Father, please visit the source of the powers of my enemy. And render their powers important in the name of Jesus. Father, please visit the sources of the powers of my enemy. And render their powers important in the name of Jesus. Father, arise and visit the sources of the powers of my enemy. And render their powers important. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, Father, please cause the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood planning and walking towards me and my family to eat their own flesh and to drink their own blood in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer and so you can say, Father, please cause the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood planning and walking towards me and my family to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood in the name of Jesus. Every eaters of flesh, every drinkers of blood, let them eat their own flesh and be drunken with their blood. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say you satanic eyes, monitoring me, wherever you are located, and whatever realm you are located, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. You satanic eyes, monitoring me, wherever you are located, and whatever realm you are located, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every satanic eye, monitoring
I deliver stressless victory and blessings to me and my family in the name of Jesus. Father, please raise up help us for me in every area of my need and deliver stressless victory and blessings to me and my family in the name of Jesus. Father, arise, raise up help us for me in the areas of my need and deliver stressless victory and blessings to me and my family in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, Father, Please. 
nation, in my life and family, in the name of Jesus. Please destroy every instrument and weapon of affliction in my life and family. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let me begin to thank God for answer prayer. Father, we thank you because we know you have answered our prayer. We bless your name because we know you are God that answers prayer. Glory be to your name in Jesus' name. Say, Father, please help me. Help every member of my family and friends to make heaven gloriously and with ease in the fullness of our time. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for giving me the mind of Christ. This morning, I receive the spirit of sound mind. I am wise in Jesus' name. Let me pray that prayer. Father, I thank you for your wisdom upon my life. I thank you for sound mind. I thank you for understanding that. Ah, Father, I give all the glory. Wisdom comes from you. I am wise in the name of Jesus. I am wise in the name of... I don't think I am wise. I am wise. I don't assume I am wise. I am wise. Because you are the God of wisdom. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I want to say, Father, please have mercy on me in any area of my life that I, I have acted foolishly. Instead of exhibiting the wisdom you have given to me in the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Father, please have mercy on me in any area of my life that I have acted foolishly. Instead of exhibiting the wisdom you have given to me, O oh Lord, please have mercy upon me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, the Bible told us in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1 to 4, and it named the spirit that Jesus had. And by the reason of the Holy Spirit, he had all these things. He had the spirit of knowledge, he had the spirit of understanding, he had the spirit of wisdom, he had the spirit of counsel. These are things that will make anyone in life to go far. Therefore, I'm going to say, sweet Holy Spirit, you are the fountain of God's wisdom. Today, this morning, impart wisdom to my spirit. Give me counsel and understanding. Light up my brain and my spirit in the name of Jesus. Can I just pray that prayer? Sweet Holy Spirit, you are the fountain of God's wisdom. Today, this morning, impart wisdom to my spirit man. Give me the spirit of counsel. Give me the spirit of understanding. Light up my brain. Light up my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I receive the spirit of counsel this morning. I receive the spirit of knowledge this morning. I receive the spirit of wisdom this morning. I receive the spirit of sound judgment. In the name of Jesus. This way the spirit that came into the life of Jesus. And the Bible says, in that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is inside of you. It shall quicken your mortal body. But I let all the spirit be you to walk in my life right now. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The Bible told us in Daniel chapter 5 verse 12 that Daniel had the spirit of excellence. He had the spirit of excellence. No wonder he was preferred above every other governor of his time. We're going to open our mouth and pray and say in the name of Jesus. I speak life to my intellect. I reject any dullness of prayer. I receive an increased capacity to understand and apply knowledge and inspiration in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will pray that prayer for yourself. Ah, for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding and interpretation of dream was found in the life of Daniel, he was preferred above every other governor. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus, my intellect receive capacity to understand it, receive the capacity to apply knowledge, receive the capacity to apply 
mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus. I destroy every veil over my mind. I cast out every spell that brings haziness in thought or that endangers blackout and forgetfulness in the name of Jesus. Abraham said a testimony on on Thursday. He said no matter what he reads when he gets to the exam hall and he wants to write, he begins to forget all he has read. Let us pray. Every spirit of forgetfulness, let it be cast out of our life. In the name of Jesus, mentors will teach you. You will forget. People want to help you. You end up becoming lazy. But I come against every spirit of laziness, every spirit of lukewarmness. I cast it out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 to 6, he said that by wisdom a house is built, and but through understanding it is established, and by knowledge the rooms are filled with precious things. So wisdom is important. First of all, through wisdom a house is built. By knowledge it is established. And by understanding, that house is filled with all precious things. We're going to open our mouth and say, Father, Father today, today I reject foolishness. Restore the years and opportunities I have lost by foolishness. I receive restoration in my business, in my career, in my relationship, in my marriage, and every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, I ask prayer prayer right now. Ah, the Bible says, by wisdom, a house is built. By understanding, it is established. I want to pray right now. I reject foolishness. All the years that the canker wall and caterpillar has eaten in my life. By the reason of foolishness, Father, restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore, O oh Lord, our marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of us, we have acted foolishly. Even in our homes, even in our marriages, even in our business, even in our relationship with people. And it has cost us a lot. My father, my father, by the reason of the wisdom that we have received this day, let all those years be restored. Let all those opportunities be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. You see, this prayer is very important. Because if we don't understand the role of wisdom, many of us will fight with our destiny or past. There are people that come to preach your life to help you. You will just be angry with them. God has brought them to do favor to you. you they will just do one small mistake. You will just say, now what for this person? Ah, that is, that is the problem of the enemy. They just want you to get angry with everybody. To the extent that those that God will have sent to help you, you will chase them away. I want you to open your mind and pray and say, Father, the wisdom, the wisdom to know those that you have sent to help me and those you have, that enemies have sent to destroy me. Grant unto me right now to be able to know the difference in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, the wisdom to know those that you have sent to lift me up, to help me, to promote my life, to impact my life. Grant unto me and also the wisdom to know those that the devil has sent to go astray, to destroy me. Grant also unto me and help me to know the difference between these two people so that I will know how to relate with them. In the name of Jesus, I receive that wisdom now. Thank you, Father. For Jesus' mighty name we are praying. For Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The Bible says in Luke chapter 25 verse 15, For I will give you the words along with the wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. I'm going to pray and say in the name of Jesus. I receive a tongue and a wisdom which no man can just say or resist. My voice will carry authority and command obedience. I receive grace to speak as an oracle in the name of Jesus. You don't pray that prayer for yourself right now. 
Jesus. Amen. 